Magandang buhay mga bata! I am Teacher Maricar of Angeles Elementary School, your math teacher for today. Today, we will study about estimating the product of 2 to 3 digit numbers and 1 to 2 digit numbers. At times, with the money that we save, we go to the mall or shop to buy something for ourselves. As we go around to choose what to buy, we make estimates and some mental computation to make sure that the money we will have will be enough to pay for what we want. Malikar wants to buy three ball pens. Each pen costs 5 pesos and 95 centavos. We need to round off 5 pesos and 95 centavos first. The closest number to it is 6 pesos. Now, we need to multiply 3 by 6 pesos. The product is 18 pesos. Maricar needs to pay about 18 pesos for the three ball pens. In estimating the products of 2 to 4 digit numbers multiplied by 1 to 2 digit numbers, round each factor to the highest value position, then multiply the rounded factors. One digit factors are not rounded off. Do you still remember the rules that we use in rounding off numbers? Very good! Let us try the following example. Let's look for the estimated product of the following. 57 times 46 is what number? First, you need to round off the two factors. 57 becomes 60 since the number beside 5 is more than 5 you need to add up the number 5 and it becomes 6 then change all the numbers to your right into 0 the same goes to number 46 if we round off 46 since the number to your right is 6 you add 1 to 4 46 becomes 50 since you have your estimated or rounded off factors, you need to multiply. 5 times 6 is 30. Then add the two zeros. So the estimated product for 57 and 46 is 3000. Let's move to the next example. 367 times 46. First, Round off the factors. 367 when rounded off becomes 400. Since the number to the right of number 3 is 6, you need to add 1 to number 3. 3 becomes 4. Then change all the numbers to your right into zeros. Then 46 when rounded off becomes 50. Since 6 is higher than 5, you add 1 to number 4. 4 becomes 5, then change all the numbers to your right into zeros. Since you have your estimated factors, let's now multiply. 4 times 5 is 20. Count the number of zeros you have. 1, 2, 3. Add it to your product. 1, 2, 3. The estimated product of 367 and 46 is 20,000. This time, I'll be showing you different multiplication equation. Let's try to find the estimated product of each. The estimated product of 74 times 31. First, 
you need to get the estimated factors. 70 times 30 is 2,100. How about 36 times 5? Very good. The estimated factors are 40 times 5. Their product is 200. Let's try some more. 47 times 58. Good. The estimated factors are 50 and 60. The product? is a 3,000. How about 516 times 36? Very good. The estimated factors or rounded up factors are 530. If we multiply these numbers, the product is 15,000. How about 338 times 32? Very good. The estimated factors are 330. If we multiply these factors, the answer is 9,000. Let us try another one. 427 times 21. Very good! If we estimate or round off the factors, we will get 420. If we multiply these numbers together, the estimated product is 8,000. This time, let's try... 218 times 23. Very good. The estimated factors are 220. The estimated product is 4,000. What is the estimated product of 1,924 and 34? Very good. We have 2,030. If we multiply these numbers together, the product is 60,000. I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching again, kids.